thousands of shorts by scraping the titles and the transcripts. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> yeah, so it's so funny because like basically the way I do it is, you know, when you go onto YouTube and you open up a short, it sends you like even on desktop, it sends you to like this shorts page or whatever. Yeah. But if you change the URL to like watch question mark V equals then the URL, then it will send you to like the actual YouTube page and then you can just click transcript, copy and paste that transcript and then I just check the readability but also like check other things. You know, I just analyze why these shorts are working. So interesting. So interesting. I, yeah. I would love to hear anything else that comes to mind as you were looking at all this that started to help you pull together your own short strategy because I did not realize that you had done all this research and pulled all this together. This gets me very, very excited. As the creator science guy, I am <laughs> super yeah. excited about this this research. Yeah, so no, I've also like, deeply analyzed all of my Thank videos you, and I think that's where you I learn the most. You. Everyone has different audiences. So what works that's for Mr. So Beast might not work for me, right? So what I did was like, I did my own little experiment. Like when I knew I wanted to get into shorts, I told myself I was gonna upload every day for as long as possible. And I think I only got like a week or two in. It, it didn't, it, it, I didn't post all of my videos. And I think that's where you learn the most. Everyone has different audiences. So what works for Mr. Beast might not work for me, right? So what I did was like, I did my own little experiment. Like when I knew I wanted to get into shorts, I told myself I was gonna upload every day for as long as possible. And yeah. I think I only got like a week or I didn't I didn't get that far, that. but the goal was essentially to Did you hear that? That's what I've been doing, but I've been slipping. Upload every day. Upload every day. That's what he say. Upload every day. That's the key. Upload every day. All right, y'all, let's go back, all right? This little girl is smart, y'all. I'm telling you. This little girl is so smart. Let's finish. Upload as much as possible. Quantity is what makes quality. When I was doing that quantity, I would analyze my retention graph. And this is just like one example I'll just pull out for you. So there was one video after five days, I got, I think it was like 50,000 views in five days, Yay. right? Which I, on average, I usually get like a million. <laughs> so... And I pulled up the wow. retention graph, and I... Wow, y'all hear that? She gets like a million, bro. That's crazy, right? All right, y'all, let's fire this back up. Notice on the last second, it was a huge dip. It was 70%. One hey. second later, it was 45%. Like a 25% drop in one second. And hey. the retention was 83%. So what I did was I went to YouTube Studio... I trimmed off that one second. YouTube removed this feature, by the way. YouTube, please bring it back. But just by re removing that one second at the end, it went from 83% to 88%. Wow. And the video went flying. And that, that's wow. why like every second counts on a short. Like wow, did y'all hear that? Wow, did y'all hear that? Yo, by this taking off one second, will change. Everything. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, man, y'all hear this crap, man? It's crazy. Wow, man. I'm just shocked. This is amazing. This little young lady is bright, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Let's finish. Every single second. Because when you think about it, Let's say you have a 30 second short, right? Mm -hmm. If you lose one second, that's already 97%. That's three percentages. Wow. You know, if you have lose two seconds, that's 6%. So when you think about it on wow. shorts, like you're not just losing one second, wow. you're losing double or even triple because that one second. Did y'all hear that? She's so smart, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'm about to really like watch this video and use this in my soul. Like, oh my goodness. Accumulates to two or three percent of the video. The uh, takeaway here, I believe, is that you really want in a short, uh, high retention, of course, with a high retention and everything. But I've heard some people talk about, you really want people to uh, sometimes loop and watch even into a repeat yes. of the thing. Is that true? Yes, yes, and I'll explain why. The average scroll through rate 
which is basically like on YouTube Shorts, you can see what percentage who like what percentage of people viewed. Y'all see this? Look, this girl's so smart. Look, you go look at this stuff right here. What she's saying right here. How much people scroll? Y'all see that, right? Um, I've seen this on mine. It's like when people want to swipe, you know, left or right on your video. And by having a higher rate right here, they're most likely they're going to watch your video, right? So by having the higher rate number, they're going to watch. Most likely they're going to watch your video. You know, they're going to watch your video. Um, and basically, uh, that's what they're going to do. They're going to watch it. And if it's low like this, that's that's good because the lower this number is right y'all the lower this is the better because the higher over here is what you want that means 75 percent of people viewed your your short which is actually pretty good to me you know you you want at least probably that or more you want more than 50 percent i don't know what she's about to say but i know at least you want that much maybe 60 percent you know if you could really like well 75 percent is probably the good target rate but 60 to 65 percent will get you better you just want to be over over yeah well, I'm sorry I don't got the pen I'm using my finger uh, over 50 percent y'all can actually stop and write this down but um, I don't know what she's gonna say I'm sorry about the noise I'm out on the balcony um, so she's probably gonna say oh higher probably than that but i've seen me being about right here and i'm getting good click weight but i mean you do want a higher number that's that's the goal you're you strive for the higher number of anything you know youtube uh instagram facebook all that this finish what she's gonna say versus swiped away and i like to call it scroll through rate but the average scroll through rate is like 70 percent you want to get that as high as possible my personal scroll through rate is like 85 percent wow so my average scroll through rate is 85 percent wow hers is 85 percent bro wow but my average retention is 95 percent wow. if only 85 percent of people are watching it how does the retention subtly get to 95 percent it's because they're re-watching it wow. so to have that like 90 plus percent retention which is like in my opinion the bare minimum like for a short wow. to blow up you need them to watch it again wow. so 90 percent is your benchmark that's what you're looking for so yeah her she's saying 85 percent now all right And she guys, let me change the color, y'all. I'm gonna make it uh, yellow, okay? 60, 85%, right? That's what she has. And 90% retention rate to be viral. So that is 
your plan, she says 85%. That's crazy. So by trimming stuff off your videos, though, before we go back and look, even me, I'm gonna go back and check out where my drops off at and see if this method works even for my own channel because my channel's small and I'm trying to grow it. So the goal is sorry, I'm writing on your face, my guy. Um is 85% which is high to go viral blow up blow up all the way up go viral 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 that's what you want to do you want to go viral y'all 85% to go viral She does 90% retention rate. That's high. That's high. Ooh, you know, y'all, that's crazy. Retention rate. Listen. For retention, for something that will have the, the virality and reach that you are accustomed to at this point for the most part yes i will say it depends on the amount of impressions because my videos average like 95 percent retention but we're talking like that's on 10 million views wow. so that's like it's very difficult to do right so uh, i dare you to let me build you a completely uh, free e-commerce store you think about the visual nature of it are you talking about the first frame of the actual video yes i'm talking about the first frame i don't know how many shorts you've seen so i'll try and uh, explain it but I, i've seen more than one but less than you <laughs> so let's let's assume yes, on the low end course. yeah so i have this series where i remake fast food items for a dollar instead of like uh, showing my face i show the location i show the front of the location because wow. obviously like more people know the fast food location than they know me wow. the easiest way to describe video just visually wow. is by showing the fast food item in front of the location wow. so usually it's so funny i would have the logo in the wow. middle wow. and then i'll put the food item here and then right in the middle i'll put like one dollar burrito one dollar sandwich one dollar burger so then it's like you wow. perfectly see it it's always perfectly aligned and it really helps for bingeability too because wow. it's actually a playlist and i get a lot of views from people like just like watching it down and they they just know it's me every time they see that framing so interesting was this all trial and error or did you model this this style of of framing and hook off of anyone in particular it's definitely like trial and error at first, I started by, I guess you can say, stealing. Bro, bro, y'all hear this? Y'all hear this? This girl right here is a mastermind. Thank you, sweetheart. Because it's time to bring out the laptop and do some really hard analytic work and go to that website you mentioned at the beginning of the video y'all y'all welcome for that um i hope you two do not block this please do not block i don't own the rights to none of this um i'm just trying to share some information i ran across to other viewers you know i'm just trying to share that's all Sorry, y'all, uh, you know, trying to get better at this. I want to show my face, you know, YouTube tripping. I don't want to. All I'm trying to do, y'all, <clears throat> to be honest with y'all, I just lost my mother, and I lost my wife within the last, well, I lost my mother in December. I lost my wife for 20 October. Man, that's hard, man. I miss her. I miss her, y'all. Just saying, y'all know this video going different, but I miss my wife, my mom, man. 
by my wife. She died, um, she passed away, her kidneys failed. Try to give her a kidney. I also try to do a lot of investments with these companies, y'all, and y'all need to stay away from them. That's why, you know, I'm trying to find other ways for y'all to make money. Um, some stuff I recommend is really true of making money. Also, I learned that there's not too many companies, but I can show y'all and tell y'all if y'all like turning your notifications on and subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Give me a thumbs up, you know, and subscribe, please. Um, that would make me feel good. I ain't gonna lie. I try, I'm trying to find my little niche. But at the end of the day, I'm just trying to make someone smile. I'm trying to help someone uh, make some money. Show them how to use PayPal. Show them how to buy Bitcoin. You know, I can tell you when to buy Bitcoin, which is now. Um, I'm not sponsoring anybody. Um, but I can show you apps. Um, right now, I don't have no referral links, so I'm not going to say which ones and what to do. I have posted some in on my channel that's not monetized so y'all can just like my videos and subscribe I would really appreciate it but again I lost my wife in October 6 2022 she suddenly violently went into a seizure and you know I thought she was going to be fine because it happened before so I knew what to do I had to call 911. You know, I was helping her, put her on her side. You know, I was calm. You know, praying to God. You know, she's gonna be okay. And the midst of that, I took out of the phone and called my sister because my sister is more trained than me. And um, we called 911, and she ended up with them bodily. God rest her soul, I didn't know, my sister didn't tell me, but I ended up having to do a CPR on her, which was very tragic, y'all, oh my God, like, my wife, my, my rock, and I couldn't give her a kidney, I started investments with crypto and these companies to try to afford enough money to raise the virus some kidneys and, and a surgery and stuff like that. I didn't do a go phone me or anything like that. I was just trying to like, you know, earn, earn it with some companies. And um, there's a lot of fake companies out here, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all now, I don't trust any more companies. Um, I'm learning how to, I learn and I'm learning how to trade. I knew about Bitcoin. I was told y'all to buy Bitcoin. Um, because I did a lot of data and trial and error, and that's a lot of opportunities to buy because, you know, I made bad decisions with other companies, you know, so, you know, that kind of like, you know, sucked, but I know I'm getting off topic, but the reason why I'm now I'm doing this is because I learned a lot, and I've been through a lot. You know, and then in the midst after my wife passing away, you know, uh, basically I lost everything. I mean, even my own personal stuff. I got locked out in the state of Virginia when someone passes away. And unfortunately, um, because of my situations, I end up in my name. And uh, basically lost everything, you know. So, you know, I'm starting over, you know, in the midst of that. 
I'll start to rebuild myself, you know, go through the pain, the trial and error, go all the pain. And, um, you know, my mama got sick, so my attention kind of turned to her, and God rest her soul, you know, she got really sick. Same kind of issue she had. She had already had kidney issues, you know, so that's what was kind of like. I kind of knew about kidneys and her issues because I used to take care of my wife by myself because I didn't want no else touching her and it was around the virus time and I didn't want people coming to my house and trying to make her sick every day so I had to take care of her every day so you know uh, that just happened and, and I was asleep and she smacked me across my chest and went into a seizure and I woke up and I'm like oh my god you know you know, I saved her. Lord, y'all, I saved her. My training, my CPR training, saved her enough for the paramedics. And the paramedics left up out of there with, uh, you know, a heartbeat because I cried out to the Lord. And the Lord heard me to bring her back because, you know, you know, our family didn't see her and her daughter. So, y'all... Shit. I'm sorry, too. Please come back to us. Bro, y'all don't even know, bro. Y'all don't even know. Hey, I don't know, bro, what I've been through. When my mama gets sick, now I lose my mother on December 6th. 2023, bruh, just, we just passed a year, two months, 14 months, and now it's, what, March now, y'all, March 1st, I mean, y'all, I'm sorry, y'all, but you know, I'm just here to try to make me some money. And help y'all make better decisions on how to make money with apps. And I can give y'all some advice on when to buy stuff. And I'm going to have some more merchandise. I know my merchandise is it's not that great right now. I know it's not because I didn't have the proper stuff. There's very a lot of stuff coming, but I just wanted to share this with y'all. But you know, I've been through a lot, you know, a whole lot, and uh, I'm still going through a lot. But YouTube helps me, you know what I mean, and uh, doing voices and stuff like that. And I just wanted to share who I am with y'all, you know, like, everything I do, like, even on my Instagram, like, everything, everything I do, it's real, man, I, I, I've been detained, you know, imprisonment, you know, so, you know, I've seen and experienced everything, you know, I got a 22-year-old son. You know, he'll be 23 this year. I am 46 years old. My name is Thomas Howard. It was nice to meet everyone on my channel. I'm the owner, the creator, and operator of this channel. And there will be a lot of stuff coming new to this channel soon. And I just wanted to share my story with y'all. And I hope you all get a chance to see this. In the midst of watching this video, I know this video is up to 25 minutes, and I still want to finish sharing this stuff with y'all before I go. I just want to let you know I love y'all, and I really appreciate y'all. I really do. I really appreciate all of you. Like, peace, man. I really, like, the peace sign, you know, like, peace. I really, like, appreciate my 1300 
and what 40 now or 70 subscribers like man i appreciate every one of y'all like when i can get to like man if i can get to like 5,000 i'll give away like a like a gift card or something like a $500 gift card so if y'all like help me get to 5,000 I promise you even if YouTube don't pay me enough because to be honest with y'all y'all like I know I don't do a lot of editing and a lot of my stuff is raw because, you know, edited in, to be honest, I know editing is probably great on YouTube, but then that wouldn't be my life because I don't edit my life. Like, what y'all see is really what y'all get, you know, like, even with, like, I know maybe I can get a little better with my videos and stuff like that, but... Y'all really getting the true, real, everything, you know, I don't know, it's like, oh, y'all be being lazy, making these own videos, and it's nothing about that, it's just, like, to me, editing is, like, not being real, you know, like, well, I want to edit my life, you know, I'm not editing my life, well, I need to edit my life, I don't understand that part, you know. I really don't. Hey, my glasses are really dark right now. Jeez. That's the first time I've seen them this dark. That's because the sun's out. I guess they never been really charged it up either. They really dark. No, they not. They ain't that funny. Uh, there they are this way. Uh, yeah, y'all. I just wanted to tell y'all really appreciate every one of y'all and keep keep subscribing because i won't forget any of y'all please leave some comments i know i've been leaving the comments really tight because i'm gonna be honest with y'all man i have a stalker trying to like ruin my life and they trying to like ransom me for money and I have a stalker, so I ought to have my comments turned up very high because they said they would smear my YouTube channel, they would smear my Instagram, and they would ruin my whole life that I really didn't have at first that I'm building now. You know, and they said this person thought I had this big old life, and I had millions of dollars, and that's not the truth. And they trying to like, I ain't gonna lie, I paid, I paid some money. Like a couple, a couple of thousand, you know, like one, two K. You know, just leave me alone. And they keep bugging me and I keep blocking them. You know, I'm scared to just be me all the way because they just hating because they scammers and they scam me thinking they are women the whole time it's a damn dude but now like he got like not nice pictures of me because he sent me nice pictures and videos thinking it's a woman but you know hey I don't want to talk about that because YouTube but I just want to let you know I'm a real guy, you know, I'm trying to like, I don't want to be famous, I just want to grow up just to, you know, take care of myself, I'm getting older, you know, I've been through a lot, like I said, I lost my mother, and I lost my wife, and it's only been about to be three months since I lost my mother. You know, and, but a few more days. My birthdays are coming. My mother's birthday's in May. So 
Uh, the, my, my sister's birthday was, I have two sisters, two older sisters, I'm the baby. I have a son, my sister, one sister has no kids, and my other sister has three, two, I have two nieces and a nephew. And that's my family now. I have no father, I lost him uh, about 20 years ago, y'all, so I ain't have no dad in 20 years. I was about 23, 20, about to be 24. Um, um, pregnant with my son then, my son was born. Uh, he was in my son's life for about a year, a year and a half. I asked him to do his surgery to live longer. He didn't want to do it until I got angry with him. And I was like, please do it. I need you to do it. You know, I love you. We all love you. You know? Please do it. You know, and he did it. So, but he ended up not talking no more. They cut his tongue out. They removed his tongue because of cancer. He had a lot of cancer. And um, once he was done, I don't know if you see the movie Child's Play, part was it two or three when Chucky had the bag of accident and he had to get stitches and stuff. That's how my father looked. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's not a good thing. I just wanted to give y'all a visual, but you know, I had to deal with that trauma. And then he lived about, uh, about six, eight months later, and then he passed away. So, you know, I had to deal with that. And then my son. So, you know, and then, you know, I chose to be a one to be a boss, right? And being a boss, I chose to uh, live the wrong way. But for the right reason, but the wrong way. And, uh, I did it for, uh, I didn't want, I just, I wanted to be a boss. I knew I didn't want to work, want to work for anybody. You know, and I'm glad, you know, I finally got a chance to, I thought it'd be better than this, but you know, I'm still new and growing. But I'm not new, but I need to do more like research and, you know, that's why I found her, you know, and I just wanted to share that this with y'all that, you know, I appreciate every one of y'all. I would like to be like do a gift card raffle soon, I mean, maybe even like 2000 because it's like... Maybe I can do like a hundred dollar raffle at two thousand maybe. Yeah, help me get to two thousand, I would do a hundred dollar raffle gift card for a hundred dollars for I don't know, it could be a visa or y'all want Amazon. My two thousand at 2,000 subscribers, I would do a raffle. I'll have to learn how to use that YouTube wheel selector, you know, because I've never done it before. I get some more help. There's going to be a lot of things coming new in this year. I just haven't got a chance to do any of it because, you know, i just been healing. I'm healing y'all you know, all this time I've been making videos and stuff I, I've been in pain and I've been, it's been healing you know man like honestly y'all like save me like y'all save me I really appreciate all of y'all every one of y'all I want to say hi you know and you know I got flaws you know so it's like you know I don't want to be in front of the camera all the time, you know, so that's why I do the stuff I do, you know, I try to be on camera a little bit, and YouTube is like, you know, don't monetize these type of videos for some reason, I don't know why, but you know, I'm just trying to tell my story, you know, 
YouTube, please do not monetize, monetize this video, please. I'm trying to teach people, it could be any age group, you know, how to do a lot of stuff, you know. You can ask me a question in the comment section, you know, I will promise or leave me a message. If that's possible, I know you can leave messages. I'll double check to make sure y'all can send me a message. You know, if there are any questions about anything, like how to set up a Bitcoin wallet, um, anything, buy a Bitcoin, you know, how to buy with Cash App, how to transfer it, how to sell it. I mean, any kind of coin, you know, how to set up this wallet, that wallet, you know, but it's a uh, Ethereum, a Litecoin, it could be any of those coins, like, y'all, I just want y'all to, like, you know, let y'all know, like, I really been through it. I'm 46 years old, and I really been through it, like, this is, like, no faking and no capping and none of that, you know, I'm not, like, YouTube don't really pay you. I see what they, everybody say. But YouTube is still good. It's still another stream of income. And that's what I'm trying to do. Create y'all streams of income. How to make you some more money. You know, like how to make some money. You know, make it for free. You know, by using this app, you can make free money. And free Bitcoin and you know, interest money and free and money and money, you know, and like, you know, and just techniques and how-tos and, you know, like, try to make y'all laugh, you know, because, man, I do all this because of y'all and, like, it helps me. It's like my therapy, but I never really talk to y'all about me. And what I went through and what I'm going through, I'm going to write a book. I'm telling y'all a lot already, but, you know, not a lot, but, you know, that's the, that's the beginning of the story. You know, I can tell y'all there, I slept off. We gonna leave off when I told y'all I lost my dad at 24. And he had to do a 24-hour surgery, you know, at George Washington Hospital in Washington, D.C., which is, it was a great hospital. Remember when I told you I had doctors come to me and tell me, oh, Mr. Howard, your dad's not going to be able to talk anymore. Y'all hear me? My dad cannot talk anymore. Well, they're telling me he's not going to talk anymore. And like it's a 24-hour surgery, I'm like tired, and I'm like, I'm not understanding. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like three doctors and business card is like your dad's not going to talk no more. He had, he, the cancer the cancer, y'all, is worse than what we thought. The cancer was worse than what they thought. <clears throat> yeah, y'all. You know, that was gut. That was gut wrenching to me. You know, y'all. That was really gut gut wrenching to me. You know, this is just a morning. It's March first. Happy New Month. You know, I just wanted to talk to y'all. You know, tell you my story in the midst of this. It's like something just told me to tell y'all. I'm, I'm gonna upload this just like the way it is. I might add like, you know some subscribe button but that's about it I just want you to, to make sure they can monetize this because I'm gonna finish still showing y'all this stuff that I learned from her she's a young little lady like wow these young people 
So that's my problem. Me being older. I'm not lit. I'm not trying. I'm, well, I ain't saying I'm not trying. I'm not, like, I'm not really believing what they're saying because they're younger. That's what I want to say. Because I'm so older. And I am old school. Like, I'm really old school. Like, I'm 46, y'all. And I have flaws. And I'm not perfect. I just want to let y'all know that, you know, and I appreciate all of y'all, you know. But y'all can leave me some comments and questions, you know, please do. Um, I'm not, I might look scary, but I'm not. I'm very friendly, I'm very loving, I love everybody, I don't see no color. You know, we all my yo all y'all are my brothers and sisters, you know. Family. I look at everybody as family. If you're in my circle or if you're one of my followers, subscribers, or friends on Facebook, y'all family because you know my family unfortunately is small now. I have no mother. And I had no father in over 20 years, so, you know, it's just been, been difficult, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. It's been hard. It's been hard on me. You know? It's been very, very hard. And I just wanted to share my story with y'all, that's all. And maybe a little more camera time with y'all. YouTube act like they don't want nobody to talk to anybody or like I don't know like Be real with somebody, you know, I just want to be real with y'all, you know, this is not no background you know? I know it's I stopped the video and stuff and went in some deep stuff and again I tell y'all guys I'm not perfect, but I want to finish sharing this with y'all, okay, because this video is going to be long. Can I play it back at a Hollywood party? Let me see, y'all. Uh, I can anyway. I started by, like, copying other people's hooks, and then I was looking at, like, which percentage is the highest. So, Ooh. I it sounds so funny. So, like, uh, a strategy, Ooh. a technique is, like, what would it sound like if this YouTuber made this video? And then I would make a bunch of hooks depending on that. So I'll have like a list of like the big 10. And then I will just like, you know, have a bunch of different hooks. Pick which one's my favorite, see the percentage, and then assess what's the best hook. Then I made my own twist into it. Yo, yo, did y'all hear that? This little young girl is amazing. Glory be to God. It's anyone's God. This is no kind of discrimination to the Lord. I'm just talking to the Lord. You too. Um, but wow, that was amazing. Wow. I never even thought about doing that. Like, People do actually do a lot of research on their videos. I didn't really know that people do that much research on making videos and their titles and maybe titles and you know, the captions and stuff. And, you know, I just be taking pictures and the video. And I do have a like a twelve hundred dollar laptop, you know, that does all that stuff. But a graphics card, and I'm not even gaming on it, so you know. And I got Xbox Pass on there, and some other stuff. Let's get back to the video some more, though, y'all. Yeah. But again, I'm just here to want to teach y'all. 
you know, to my people that are like struggling, because I know an economy is in a struggle. I mean, I'm not rich. Too. I'm not rich. I'm out here trying to trying to build wealth. Well, y'all can see me building on the way. I will show y'all and, and guide y'all on how to do this and how to do that and this and that and bike. I know how to work on bikes, fix bikes, birds, you know, wildlife, you know, I do a, I, I just like funny, I do the deers a lot because it's like the deers come out when I'm you know, have my little time, my little uh, meditation time, you know, medicine time, so, and that's what I do sometimes, and it's a lot because it seems like when I do that, they come out and they want to say hi, I don't know if that's my mom and my wife giving me a sign, you know, because that's been happening a lot, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That's been happening a lot. And that's why I've been recording it. I got some more stuff. I have a lot of stuff, actually, y'all. I just need... Some stuff I do want to edit, like... My drone stuff, you know what I mean? And I'm starting to get in more into it, like, now. But well, it's the one I can't really fly, the one I want to fly, I can't fly, so, you know, I still had technical difficulties on the one because for some reason, where I'm getting it from, it's on the back order, you know, where I'm getting it, like, the place I'm getting it from anyway, I ain't saying, like, everybody's like that everywhere, but it seems like everybody's buying that. That Maverick uh, Mini 4 Pro. It's the Mavic Mini 4 Pro with the uh, RC2 controller. With the antennas on that one, on that controller. But anyway, back to the video. After a quick break, Jenny walks me through her process for coming up with great ideas. So stick around, we'll be right back. If you know me, Alright y'all, they're gonna take a break. Oh fast. Alright y'all, I'm back. Right now on a Google Doc, I have a list of a thousand ideas. Crazy. And I'm only doing ten. Crazy. So So these are it depends. These are a thousand ideas. Not a thousand hooks. A thousand different video ideas that could each have multiple different hooks within them. Yes. YouTube has a app in beta now, you know. This little young lady, a smart young woman, is smart. <clears throat> I'm glad I ran across her. You know, uh, YouTube just recommended to me out of the blue. You know, and I was like, wow, let me share this stuff with y'all guys because this is a way to, like, how to generate great ideas for YouTube, you know? But hey, let's get back to it again, y'all. How do you generate that many ideas? Okay, there's a lot of ways. So one way is I just watch YouTube and then see what I personally, you know, like want to recreate and like twist. Or it's like, what video do I want to watch? Or um, as funny as it sounds, I also use AI. AI has some pretty good ideas. But the best ideas, oh. at least for me personally, they come from just living it and then thinking, this is a video idea. There you go, hold on. So y'all see what she does, right? She says... Watch others for inspiration. Which that is a great idea. Then she says, what would she want to watch? What does she want to watch? Good idea. But wow. I wouldn't even think she would use that, you know. 
this right here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. Chat GPT. Wow. That is crazy, y'all. But let's finish, okay? And thank y'all. Please like, subscribe. Miss Hayes reactions. These are my reactions, my feelings. So I just call the reactions instead of my feelings. But um and how I feel about situations of being 46 in life. I'll be 47 this year, y'all. I just want to teach and guide and help and do whatever I can do to help, you know, people like that is less fortunate, you know, I'm going to be donating a lot of stuff, be giving back a lot of stuff. Man, there's a lot of stuff coming, I'm telling y'all, y'all going to be like, wow, my channel did a 360. You know, like, it's going to be, like, so awesome. And I just want y'all to know that please keep watching. Please keep subscribing. Please keep liking. Leave me a comment, please. Share it to a friend. Tell somebody about my channel. Um, you know, some videos, uh, I'm not... Well, I am an investor, but if I'm not directly talking to y'all or telling y'all to do anything or making a video about it, uh, please do not listen. If it's not me personally leaving a video or, or a short, listen y'all, that's how serious it is. Because I don't want y'all to get scammed. A lot of these videos I have on here about these websites are no longer profitable. You're not making any more money from them. Now, now you are making money from Emory Fund. And, you know, all the other ones. It's just, I'm going to end up taking them down. But, um, the basics and the core of everything... It's true, and it, everything's fine, you know, and and everything else. So I'm just here to make you laugh, teach you something. You know, I'm OG. I uh, don't have no grandkids yet, but I'm a great grand grand. I'm a great great un uncle, I'm like all kind of uncles, you know. Uh, my son is biracial. He is mixed. Most of my family is biracial. Unfortunately, I don't say I'm not unfortunately, but my I'm the last generation of, of me in our in, in our cycle and my my sisters and our in our generation is mixing like a lot of other generations are, which is fine with me. I uh, don't have, I don't see no color, you know, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all too, I know this video is getting mad long, I'm gonna be done soon, y'all, yeah, I'm sorry. But the best ideas, at least for me personally, they come from just living it and then thinking this is a video idea. Yeah, so you hear that? living it and it's an idea so let me explain that so one of my most popular videos is me making a garden as funny as it sounds because that sounds like it would get no views yet it has like it has like 30 million views like wow. <laughs> so that's a ton there's so many ideas where something like this happened wow. one day i was eating ratatouille because it's like one of my favorite food wow so yeah i hear that so how to make a garden and she did the whole garden i don't know how long the video was but it got 22 now 30 million views that's crazy that's insane on how to do a garden wow wow i 
I mean, wow, y'all, that's awesome. Ain't that awesome? Please, YouTube, don't demonetize this video. Please. It's all love. I'm teaching out here. You're so sweet. Thank you for sharing your information with us. It's, right? And I'm like, I can't believe like it costs $20 to cook. And I'm like, but can't I just make a garden and then have unlimited ratatouille for like five bucks? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a video idea. So I'm like, now I got to make a garden and then I'm going to grow vegetables to have infinite ratatouille because it's my favorite food. So like, that's where the story came from. Or like another time. Wow. So y'all, that's an idea. Actually, what she was saying, like how to take how to reduce the cost or cheaper to make something. So she said it was costing her twenty dollars to make ratatouille. So she was like, "Oh well, well, I'll just do a garden and it'll be five dollars, and I can get it all I want." So. That's a good idea, so she ended up turning it to a video. My grandma, it was so funny. She got like, like I think it was like laundry detergent in the mail or whatever, like free laundry. So like, that's where the story came from. Or like another time, my grandma, it was so funny. She got Sorry, like, like, I think it was like laundry detergent in the mail or whatever, like free laundry detergent. And I'm like, how'd you get free laundry detergent? That's like 30 bucks. And she was like, Oh, I called the company and I complained to them. I told them that they suck and they sent me free laundry detergent. So that's a ton. There's so many ideas where something like this happened. One day I was eating ratatouille because it's like one of my favorite foods, right? And I'm like, it costs twenty dollars to cook. Oh, I'm and I'm like, but can't I just make a garden and then have unlimited ratatouille for like five bucks? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a video idea. So I'm like, now I got to make a garden and then I'm going to grow vegetables to have infinite ratatouille because it's my favorite food. So like that, like another that's time, crazy, my right? grandma. That's crazy, right? This little young little woman is smart. You are so smart. Oh, wow, you are so smart. Wow. And guy, I love you, guy. You're a good guy. I'm a love. Love for y'all guys. I swear, love. I love y'all guys. Thank y'all so much for sharing this great information with us. Glory be to God. Ain't y'all happy that they sharing this great information with y'all? Oh, Lord. No, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it was so funny. She got like, like, I think it was like, laundry detergent in the mail or whatever like free laundry detergent and i'm like how'd you get free laundry detergent that's like 30 bucks and she was like oh i called the company and i complained to them i told them that they suck and they sent me free laundry detergent and i'm like that's a video i gotta do that <laughs> so it's like you know just things that i live and then i'm like that needs to be a video those are my best ideas wow did y'all hear that her mother Her mama said that she called the company and told them that they laundry detergent sucks. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. That's a big love boo. Now, 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 now. Oh, sorry, honey. Let's go. So how do you go from a thousand ideas to narrow it down to ten? What is the deciding factor of yes. which videos make the cut? Yes. Yeah. The cut? So I would say I narrow it I narrow it down to like like let's say we have a hundred, because a hundred's like an easier number to work with. So let's say we have a hundred ideas. I'll narrow it down to like 
25, 25 to 50. That's usually just based on like, the first thing I ask myself is, do I want to make it? I don't ask if it'll go viral. I can figure out how to make it viral if I really want to make it. So first I tell myself, do I actually want to make this? Is this actually logistically possible? And then it's like, yeah. is the hook good? Is the mechanism good? Are people going to rewatch this? Then that's when I look at like, where's the virality aspect in this? Then I'll bring it down to 25. Then from there... Okay, so she says she starts with a thousand ideas. Wow. Then she gets it down and starts with a hundred narrows it down to 25 50 i'm sorry and then she asks where the virality is narrows it to 25 and let's see what she's gonna say next yay I'll send it to um, my video yeah. editor, who's also like, he's just like, he's really involved in the channel, so he's not just a video editor. Ah, so she narrows it to 10, y'all. Man, see, she had an outside perspective. Ah. Again. Editing is a big part of YouTube, I see. I don't want to look like I'm t some type of nation. I'm here to bring you smiley faces. You see the smiley faces? I'm here to make you smile, y'all. That's all I'm here to do. I'm here to make you smile. I try to help you make some free cash. Show you all some great ideas, show you some how-tos. Um, I'm going to have better merchandise coming. I know y'all don't like my merchandise. That's why I ain't buying it. And it's too high. I know it's high because it's spring. Or it used to be tea spring or spring now. So, you know, now they are. But... I'm not making any money on that, trust me. Those prices is basically their their money. I'm not really making profiting any money on spring at all. Nothing. Nothing. Else. I just want to let y'all know it's a sunny morning. It's March 1st. So she says she narrows it down to 10, y'all. And then, again, what did she say? Keyword. I'm going to write it for you. You see that? Editing. If no one don't know what editing is, editing is where you or yourself or somebody else, you can pay someone to do it, is where you actually cut out bits and parts of videos and all stitch them together to make one video. <clears throat> Maybe I had the sound effects and some words on the screen and, you know, basically sell you a dream, you know. It might be nice to have a name pop up or your channel pop up or your Instagram or any of that type of stuff, your social media is, you know, and... You know, maybe recommend the next channel and stuff like that. But as far as, like, I don't know. Maybe I might try editing. If y'all see you, I might try it myself, but I don't know, y'all. I know this video is mad long, and I hope somebody watches it and listens to my story. 
and how to narrow down your ideas on YouTube to go viral. So let's finish. He's also like a strategist because, you know, he's he, he knows a lot about YouTube and um, I'll send it to him and he'll bring my 25. He's really involved in the channel. So he's not just a video editor. Okay. But like, where's the virality aspect in this? Then I'll bring it down to 25. Then from there, be a free detergent in the mail or whatever, like free laundry detergent. I'm like, how'd you get free laundry detergent? That's like 30 bucks. And she was like, oh, I called the company and I complained to them. I told them that they suck and they sent me free laundry detergent. And I'm like, <laughs> that's a video. I got to do that. So it's like, wow. you know, just things wow. that I live. And then I'm like, that needs to be a video. Those are my best ideas. So how do you go from a thousand ideas to narrow it down to 10? What is the deciding factor of... That's so cool though, y'all, right? That was smart of her calling the companies and saying <laughs> that she, uh, they sucked, I guess. So it was bad. Which videos make the cut? <laughs> yeah. So I would say I narrow it, I narrow it down to like, like, let's say we have 100, because 100 is like an easier number to work with. So let's say we have. 100 ideas i'll narrow it down to like 25 25 to 50 that's usually just based on like the first thing i ask myself is do i want to make it i don't ask if it'll go viral i can figure out how to make it viral if i really want to make it so first i tell myself do i actually want to make this is this actually logistically possible and then it's like is the hook good is the mechanism good are people going to rewatch this then that's when i look at like where's the virality aspect in this then i'll bring it down to 25 then from there I'll send it to um, my video editor, who's also like, he's just like, he's really involved in the channel. So he's not just a video editor. He's also like a strategist because, you know, he's he, he knows a lot about YouTube. And um, I'll send it to him and he'll bring my 25 to like 10. And he'll basically, he'll go in and tell me like even further if it actually seems viral. So again, editor, she's not editing it at all no editing she's doing just to let y'all know so again again i mean editing is cool like i said like for you know you put your name up or your social media I guess if you have a show, I guess. But then that's not really real. Wait, is YouTube real? Is it? Or is it just a big fantasy world where advertisers just pay money for editing your life? You spend hours and hours of recording for a six to nine minute video. So no, let me correct rec that. Seven seconds to a ten minute video. Because that's, it seems like I don't know why my videos like I make personally. When I monetize and I have worked on my language, and it just seems like I can't even get it on a on a yellow. And again, I know it's like I ain't doing a lot of editing, but again, still, I'm talking. Why do I want to edit my talking if I'm not making any mistakes? See, the key is that YouTube don't understand is <clears throat> it's like they want you to go in to edit in regardless. That's what I feel like. If my video is perfect the way I, I initially wanted it to be YouTube, then I would edit it. But YouTube 
I strive for perfection. Maybe my title line ain't right, or my spacing ain't right, or I ain't formatting it right. You know, that's mostly probably what it really is, YouTube. I'm not formatting a lot of stuff right, or titling it right, or using the correct words. Now that I know I have to make videos for preschoolers, basically, like the attention span is of a, what, what did he say? Five year old, eight year old, or grade level of a fifth grader. I mean, of course, we all can come here to learn. I'm not being judgmental, but when I just do my little videos, I can't get the green. You know, I get the yellow or like videos of just I'm doing out on my own I don't know it's no topic or no hook or anything but it gets a lot of views but it won't monetize because YouTube is like oh it's not valuable I mean it is valuable it's my life YouTube you know I'm creating not just on YouTube I'm creating on Facebook and I'm creating on Instagram, and I'm creating, about to start creating on TikTok again. You know, I have YouTube, I've been with y'all for a long time just to try to get to this spot. And all I'm going to ask you to do is please monetize my videos. You're, you're just keep demonetizing my videos. Or someone's just recording them, and I have people that just hate me and they don't want to see me like my videos get money but see the thing is they can't recognize my shorts they only recognize when I post myself on here and on a video so they don't know about all the shorts I do and that's why I'm doing shorts now because they can't control that. They can control my videos and report them. It's hard to it's hard to report the shorts because they're too short. And I guess they can't do it, or they just like, oh, okay, yeah, man, he can't make money on shorts, or he's not gonna get that many for shorts. Like they they've been blocking my blessings since my wife died and all this stuff happened after my wife died so y'all with this trauma I was telling y'all about I have these people again that I paid off to leave me alone and they keep coming back to bug me and threaten me with pictures that they have in their, in their possession and I don't care and obviously they're blocking my videos and reporting my videos every time I actually make a video and want to talk to y'all. And that's what it, what's happening is by them reporting it, it's just automatically demonetizing it and it just turns into watch time. So which is cool, you know. I'll take the watch time, you know, and just build more hours, but, you know, it's kind of wasting my time and I really... Like, I'm just irritated, man. Like, they blocking everything for me. I'm trying to create my stores on social platforms, and they just create madness for me. They're trying to hack my pages. They try to hack my Facebook. I get emails about my codes. Like, they think they can get into my emails and to get my codes. and. I get text messages with my codes from all the social media platforms. As far as I didn't get one from YouTube, but I got YouTube under another one. You know, because they don't know all my emails, you know. So, again, y'all, I'm sorry. Let's finish. If he thinks it's shareable. But for him, like, he's really good at telling if, if a concept is simple, 
yet complex, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a word a second ago. You said, is the mechanism good? What do you mean by mechanism? If they're going to be pushed to the end. So, like, a good example is Mr. Beast, the red circle. Like, is it like last to leave circle wins $500,000. The mechanism is the circle is constantly closing. So the viewers are watching till the end. So if, if it was just like the circle wasn't closing, I don't know if anyone would watch to the end. They'll just skip to the end, probably. Interesting. What are some of the mechanisms that you've used? I think this is the easiest one that anyone can apply. It's basically saying there's three steps or there's three things we need to do because it's very easy to follow. And you just show the list of three. So now the viewer knows that, oh, we're getting closer to the video. Like they actually have a good expectation, which is probably one of the biggest things. I think that's I think that's why. Wow. <clears throat> that's a good idea. So she's saying you should list. Like a one, two, three steps to keep the people engaged. Wow, this young woman is smart. Wow, she's amazing. Thank you so much, sweetie. We appreciate you. Yeah, my videos like go viral. It's because. People have a good expectation of what they're going to watch and what's actually going to be at the end. So when it comes to expectations, if you set expectations, do you find that then the, the next step is completely following through on those expectations? Or do you ever try to like subvert expectations for an element of surprise or something? I try to follow those expectations, but then have a twist. For example, I gave my mom a $5 Mother's Day gift. The hook was... My mom's never had a Mother's Day gift, so I'm going to change that and buy her the best present with $5. It was, it was the why making them care in the hook. My mom's never had a Mother's Day gift, so... Wow. So y'all see that? So she said the why was that her mom never had a Mother's Day gift, right? I'm sorry. Sloppy. So she, she the, the the fix is, is that she's gonna change it, and with five dollars, she's gonna buy her a good gift. <laughs> ah, that's catchy right there, really catchy. Let's see. I'm gonna change that. Then the expectation is so I'm gonna surprise her with a gift for five dollars uh, on. Yeah, see, like I was saying, the expectation was she never thought and never thought she was going to get a present for Mother's Day. And she did it with $5. And so she's explaining a lot of things. Why her mom never had a Mother's Day gift? Um, the solve to me, the S, is that she was going to change it. The expectation was, sorry y'all, let me fix that. The expectation was she was going to buy her a present with $5 and see what she could buy with $5 for her for Mother's Day. So it's, she killed... I'm sorry. She actually took like five steps, four steps in one. Her mom never had a gift for one. Yeah, see that? For two, she says she wanted to change it. So she has, she's making a fix. And the expectation was. She's going to buy her a gift, right? And this is the... T Here's the kicker twist that I see. Is that it's only for... The fifth one is... It's because it's only for $5. Like she said. $5. Five reasons. Wow. See how I did that? Wow. I like that. I just learned something from this young lady. Wow, five steps. Wow, why expectation? 
Expectation. Wow, Mother's Day. Don't change it. Wow, wow. This is amazing. This lady, this young lady is amazing. Green, I'm showing me giving her the gift, but you're gonna see that till the end. So it's like, it's the, the cold open, and then we cut to the video. So the expectation is by the end of the video, you're gonna see me give her a gift. So then I follow through, make the gift, and then I surprise her. Now I gave them the expectation, I close the loop that I'm gonna surprise her with this gift. But the twist was, she ended up dropping the gift, it broke, <laughs> and then she's like, you're the best daughter I've ever had. I'm like, I, I'm your only one. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. That was nice with the twist. She did a good job with that. Uh, that was really good. She's very smart. I understand what she's saying about um, what she said about um, she's so sweet. I mean, she gives out. She's giving out so much powerful information to old people. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Even to me, that's like information I would never thought about doing or saying or thinking or any of that, you know? Wow, thank you, sweet, sweet. Video end. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I, I gave the expectation that I'm gonna gift her and then we just twisted it at the end. How long would you say on average your shorts are? Oh, I know exactly it, the answer because I've done the analysis. Okay, what's the answer? <laughs> it's... Okay, what's the <laughs> it's it's exactly 34 seconds because my most popular videos are exactly that length so i try to make it exactly that length. that was gonna be my next question so she says she tries to stay consistent did y'all hear put it in the comments did you hear the expectation Shout out, man, if you even made it this far in the video. Man, I appreciate all of y'all. I love all of y'all. I told you my story. I know I was sad. I ain't trying to be sad anymore. I just want to uplift y'all, show y'all some techniques, some little how-tos and how to fix and good advice. And if you're struggling on social media, like, you know, I always try to keep learning something new now because... And things are different now, and I would like to keep being independent and have different streams of money that keep continuous, where it will keep coming to me monthly or weekly or whatever. But these are great ideas that um, I'm bringing to you today. I hope y'all really appreciate this long content I'm sorry it's been so long it wasn't my my goal wasn't for it to be this long this is this on the fly video what's to say is, do you, is that now your your benchmark for what you're looking for in a video 34 seconds yes 34 seconds so, yes uh, everyone's is different everyone gotta analyze about where hers is 34 seconds uh, 34 I wrote it too big uh, let me change it again 34 seconds. Sorry again. 34 seconds. <clears throat> right? So, I would say I'm going to start trying to make my shorts 34 seconds and see what happens but again I know what she's saying is um that that is for her but if you're new and you want to learn how or how long or estimation that works for her and she goes viral you can um, you know 34 seconds again 
34 seconds. Almost at all up y'all. I have been sleeping. I was gonna make time, make content for everything. I'm gonna go like on YouTube and YouTube is actually one I'm making some money on and I'm neglecting it and just throwing everything off. So 34 seconds. I'm trying to get that in my brain too. Is it make for their, their own channel? And I think I've seen, well, I was in uh, I was in Patty Galloway's Accelerator and he showed what you were looking for in a video, 34 seconds. Yes. So Yes. It, Everyone's is different. Everyone got to analyze it, make for their, their own channel. And I think I've seen, well, I was in uh, I was in Patty Galloway's Accelerator and he showed some research that he had done to show like, depending on your short length, this is the bar for retention you should be shooting for. So I'm guessing that 90% retention is also related to the average total length of your videos, whereas if it's shorter, maybe you need retention to be higher to achieve the same virality. Exactly, yes, correct. So for me, for my personal channel, like I said, like there's no specific number. I think everyone just has to check out their analytics. But for me, I noticed if a short is less than 30 seconds, it needs to, it has to have over 100% retention or else it's not gonna take off. Wow. So that's why I like to make it slightly longer, but too long, is too long for my audience since I do have a very young audience. If you know that you want your videos to be about 34 seconds, I'm thinking if it's 34 um, seconds. So, yeah, I hear that, right? It depends on your audience. So, so you gotta like, she does a lot of research, a lot of analytics. So you guys, y'all need to download YouTube Studio. These are people that don't have a computer. They do have a YouTube Studio app. And you can see your analytics on your videos. So you just go to the Apple Store or the Play Store and just search up YouTube Studio app. Now, guys, they also have the YouTube Creator app. Oh, God. Now you can, wow, you can actually edit your videos there. Like, that's what everybody been waiting for, YouTube. Like, where you could do it from your phone. You know, like, I do have a computer and I don't use it that much, but, I mean, I do use it, but not for YouTube like I should, but, like, to do the editing, you know. So, um... Okay, let's finish. And, and you know that you want your last second retention to be really high. It seems like the payoff is like literally the last second. So now we got 34, 33 seconds to work with. You probably know how long your hook generally is. So maybe that's, you know, three seconds or five seconds. And you have this remainder of 28 to 30 seconds in the middle. Do you break that down into specific pieces of the mechanism or is that just... But what I do check is before I film the video, I will do a rough script, even if it's not even what happens in the video. Like I'll just roughly, you know, do it and I can just change it later. And from there, I'll have a sense of how long it is just from the word count. But I don't necessarily force it. I just let it free flow, like you said, in the end. Yeah, so, dang, she does a lot of preparation. She but some of her see, but she does a lot on her stuff, I see, on her little videos. Sorry for all the noise, y'all. I'm outside, and it's morning time, and it's traffic. But I do have a rough idea of the word count, and my hooks and foreshadow, I always do that in every video. I do a hook, and then I foreshadow, which is two lines. And that is usually three seconds or less. And foreshadow, you're saying that's in, that's in the voiceover. Because I know you mentioned like the, the example of your, your mom's yeah, gift. Voiceover. When you see her grab the package, that's foreshadowing in a way, but that's completely visual. You're saying you dedicate some spoken time to foreshadowing as well. Yes, I always have spoken time to foreshadowing it. Like it doesn't matter what video idea it is. Like, like, like let me just pull up like a, a random idea. Like 
I'm going to the beach, right? And then it's like, why would someone watch? So that's the hook. I'm going to the beach. And what's the foreshadow? I'm going to the beach and I'm going to surprise someone with $100 at the end of the video. It could literally be with anything. It just needs to have some sort of expectation. I want to keep going down this, this structure wow. rabbit hole a little bit more because I keep finding new layers. Like I didn't wow. know foreshadowing is part of your structure. Wow, foreshadowing, yo. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Sure. So is there anything that comes after the hook and foreshadowing that is a structural part of every video? Yes, there actually is. <laughs> so it will usually be hook, which is really short. Then I'll foreshadow what's going to be at the end. Then I have to smoothly transition. So I used to have like a lot. So it's transition at the end, y'all. We got to do the transition. There are breaks because you want to give people time to breathe, right? Because you don't want to be like, I'm going to be doing this and this and this and this and this and the video's over. I didn't like, they, they're not going to understand anything. So you want a pacing break without the pacing actually breaking. Let me explain what I mean by that. This I did this in my recent video. So it was like, McDonald's banned this item. Hook. So I'm going to make it at home, then convince them to put it back on the menu. That's the foreshadow. And then at first I wrote, let's get started. But that breaks pace. So instead of saying, let's get started, I said... So I cooked illegally, and that, that just flows better. So I, I don't want to give, like, because I already gave, like, two crucial pieces of detail. So if I give any more detail, they're just going to forget about that. Like, primacy, recency. If you, I can get into that. So it's like, they're going to forget what I just said. So we need a pacing break without the pacing actually breaking. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Wow. Okay, let's keep going down this this trail. Is there is there more structural pieces wow. past the transition? Usually, it's just, like, problem, solution, or but therefore storytelling. Okay, wow. tell me more about so, but therefore yeah, storytelling, solution, and answer. Storytelling. Basically, but therefore, star <laughs> but therefore storytelling, simply put, is just lots of change in the story. So a story, stories can't be stories without. See, you see what it is, y'all? Uh... change. For example, I went on a walk. Then it started raining. Then I went back home. It was much more boring than if it was like, I went on a walk, but it started raining. Therefore, I started running back home and it, I, I, it was raining all over me. But good thing I had a handy umbrella while I was on my way back. Therefore, I got home. Like, it's the exact same story, but it just sounds so much more intriguing when you have like, but, yeah, and then so, good. so, or but therefore. I'm so glad that you're able to like whip up these examples on the fly. This is my wow. This is powerful that she's sharing this information with us, y'all. Oh, please smash the like button, subscribe, share, please. Cause this video just popped up on me out of billions of videos on YouTube. It's be very stressful the <laughs> the spots I'm putting you on, but you're just like, I got it. Yo, <laughs> yeah. Me too. This is your life. But you're just like, I got it. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm thinking from an order of operations standpoint, I'm, I'm making some assumptions I'm realizing and I want to make sure I'm correct in them. It sounds like you have ideas first, then you narrow that down to a small number of ideas and ultimately a video that you say, yes, this idea, my editor and I have decided is a good one. Uh, you come up with versions of the hook and then it seems like you, you start recording. And after recording, you start editing, and then after editing comes the transcript for the voiceover. Did I get that right? You were close. You were close. Like you said, ideas, then I find that one idea. Then I'll write my hook. Mm -hmm. Then I'll write the last line. Ah. So I always know the last line when I'm going to film. Then I'll go back, and then after the hook... So look. Uh... So she said, ideas, one idea, write the hook, write the last line, and the foreshadow. Wow, this is powerful. Wow. Wow, I'm amazed by this young lady. I figure out how I'm going to foreshadow that. I, I will always have the hook, foresh so I always have two lines. <laughs> so it would be like hook, 
foreshadow and um but in between it would be like it depends on the video sometimes it will be a rough script like we were saying so i can have that structure so here you see there rough script outline outline rough script in mind or it will just be bullet points of things i want to touch on Jam while i'm filming process. then i will film once i filmed again revise it finalize it wow she does a lot so then sorry y'all it was rough skip outline then she films it then revisits the script, revise, finalize, then edit. Wow. Then it goes and edit. How do you write the last line without knowing what comes out in the filming? It's, you'd like leave it in blank. So it would be like, for example, if I'm surprising someone with a gift, the last line would be, then so <laughs> like it's so simple. Then I surprised my mom and and then blank. Uh, so it's usually you it's know, reaction. Just to have a general idea. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Okay, so you heard what she said. You gotta have an ending. The ending <clears throat> for her is is like whatever it looks like. And the base topic. Okay, I was watching your videos this morning and I, I was like really, I, I took note of the fact mm. that they all end very abruptly, but like not in a way where I'm like, <laughs> what happened? It's it's like, it's pleasing, but it is abrupt. And we already talked about how you, you kind of learned this and you trimmed it off, but it is like, and I surprised my mom and, you know, and then, and then her reaction and then the end. You mentioned a moment ago that the age of your audience is typically a little bit younger. How much do you think about who the audience is when you think of ideas? You know, because in my world, to, to just step back a second, in my world, a lot of times folks have like a very yeah. specific avatar that they're creating for who's trying to achieve some sort of specific goal. I don't think that's the same in more of the entertainment. Yeah, that is true. I believe like, you know, like if you're doing more for like trying to build business and finance and how to build billionaire and stuff like that it's harder and hers is entertainment but i try to give you the, my world i try to give you both I try to payment space so i'd love to hear to what level of detail you think about an audience member in your mind yeah that's everything avatar is everything so for me i will think of like specific people so i will think of like me when i was younger i'll think about like i don't think that's the same in more of the entertainment space. Good morning. So I'd love to hear to what level of detail who the audience is when you think of ideas. Nah, I'm read out. You know, because in my world, to, to just step back a second, in my world, a lot of times folks have like a very specific avatar that yeah. they're creating for who's trying to achieve some sort of specific goal. I don't think that's the same and think about an audience member in your mind. Yeah, that's everything. Avatar is everything. So for me, I will think of like specific people. So I will think of like me when I was younger. I'll think about like, these, these are my favorites to think about, by the way. My, my nieces <laughs> are 10 years old, 10. I have two nieces that are seven and 10 and they just moved to America last year. So they barely understand English. And th that's, that's who I wanna speak to. It's, it's very tough because they might not be interested in the topic but if I can make them interested, and especially if it makes sense to them as non-English speakers, then it's probably really good. So that's the way I see it. It's not necessarily... Yeah, that's a good idea. This little young lady is very smart, y'all. Y'all still watching. Thank y'all. I'm going to upload it like this, too. I appreciate it if you do. Smash the like button, subscribe. Hayes reactions. Early thinking of like their their dreams their desires but more so how can you speak to them so it's just it just i don't know if that makes sense because it's like it's it's different it's it, it makes sense it's interesting for me to hear because i just don't speak to folks on the more entertainment side of the creator world as often so actually it's, i'm just 
coming at it from natural curiosity to hear how you do think about it. Wow. I would imagine at the level of views you're getting, tens of millions on these on these videos, wow. it's a broad spectrum of people who are looking at this. So who do you who do you choose as the core of yes, people outside of this type of person, maybe it's my nieces, will watch this, but I'm making it for this person in particular. I didn't know if you had that specificity or not. Mm. Like I said, I do and I don't. So it's in the sense of like I it's mainly like my younger self, which is like kind of weird because I can't actually, my younger self can't. Mm, so she wants to go back and be her younger self and do things that she would did when she was younger. That's not a bad idea. Maybe I should try that. Fortunately, I don't have my mom anymore. Oh, my wife. So let's see here. Who can I do that to? Actually watch it, but that's like the way I think of it, if that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Can we talk a little bit about Instagram Reels and TikTok and how you think about those? Because a lot of times people think short form vertical video is the same everywhere. Choose wherever you're leading and then just post it to all three. And it's clear that your your YouTube is is much bigger than the other two platforms. Mm -hmm. And those other two platforms are much bigger than mine, so that's not any judgment on you. <laughs> but I'm curious what you're hearing or what you're experiencing in terms of how this does or does not translate. Hey, real quick before they respond, I want to let you know that there are bonus audio-only episodes of Creator Science that air every Tuesday when we don't publish a video. I'm sorry, uh from content is not the same across platforms and i know this because wow. i used to do very well on tiktok before i was doing well on youtube in fact when i had like a thousand subscribers on youtube i had like 70k on tiktok so i was doing much better and i was averaging like a million views per tiktok what was crazy wow. is i remember at this at this point i was posting to all three platforms but tiktok was getting all the views youtube shorts and instagram reels were getting like none of it were you thinking about one of those platforms as like uh, your lead platform at that time? It was definitely TikTok. So you're thinking, I'm making this video for TikTok. I'm also posting to Reels and I'm also pointing to sh posting shorts. Correct. But it wasn't edited on the TikTok app. Like it would still be filmed, you know, like professionally and then edited it and then posting on TikTok. The same video that would get 1 million views on TikTok would get 1,000 views on YouTube shorts. And I was like, okay, let me switch a strategy because I bought banned on TikTok, like, for a short period of time. I'm like, let me focus on YouTube. And then the opposite happened. I started averaging 1 million views on YouTube and then a thousand on TikTok. I'm like, this is really strange. Like these platforms definitely want different content. And what I found, YouTube likes definitely a slower, more mature, you know, it's a more mature audience. So they want like a slower pace, more story. So those would be like the 34 second, tic uh, 34 second shorts that I'm making right now. TikTok, on the other hand, did not like <laughs> did not like videos over 30 seconds. It liked 10 to 20 second videos that were just like dense with information, not that many jokes, just like, you know, just just scrollable. They're just trying to scroll as much as possible. Whereas Instagram Reels was also slightly more mature, but because they have that mute feature, a lot of those videos would be very visual and would have like subtitles in every second and would have like a lot of shareability since it's very it's, it's very easy to share on Instagram. 